Hi everyone, Harris here with iDownloadBlog, and today we are taking a look at Flick Type Keyboard for the Apple Watch, essentially a backdoor approach of sending text messages on your Apple Watch that aims at being as comfortable and natural as possible, and it actually works very smoothly. So this is a standalone app, which is why I call it a bit of a backdoor approach. It isn't ingrained into your messages app on the Apple Watch, and it isn't like a third-party keyboard on your iPhone or iPad, although you can use the same keyboard on your iPhone if you download the app. And essentially you tap like you were typing single-handed on your QWERTY keyboard. So if you're a good typist, this is going to be pretty natural. You just tap as if this was a very downscaled Mac keyboard or whatever keyboard. So you type out the word you want and you swipe right, and if it was close, it will most likely predict the word correctly. If it didn't, you can swipe back, but if it did, you swipe to the right and you can start typing on your new word. If you swipe twice over, you get to punctuation, so it'll have a period. But if you swipe up, you can go through the preset emoji, which you can customize, or swipe down to get more punctuation, and then swipe right again. Unfortunately, there isn't much more customization other than this. You can scroll with the digital crown to see what you have typed out, and you can choose whether you want to see the preview while you're typing it or not. And then you force touch the screen to bring up the share option, which you can add a contact, and that works fine. You then have to choose a recent contact or use dictation or some other type of input. So at the end of the day, this is a pretty natural way of communicating with your Apple Watch because it essentially is using a QWERTY keyboard, which is unlike Apple's other methods. So if you haven't been a fan of the inputs, the dictation, or the scribble on your Apple Watch, this is a way to get around that for messages. Um, there isn't a whole lot of customization. There's more so on the iPhone app. Uh, but if you want something that works and is a little bit backdoor, uh, but like I said, most importantly does work, this is a pretty cool one to check out for your Apple Watch. That's about it for this video. Let me know what you think of this. Is this too out of the way for you to use with your messages, or is this something that you would like because you don't like Apple's methods of input? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.